Alright, so the first thing you want to do is define a site in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go to my documents, I'm going to go to my web pages, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this Second Web, and then within that folder, I'm going to create another folder for images. And this is pretty much how I create all of my folders. Or all of my sites, I guess I would say. Like saying new, I start up Dreamweaver. Move this over just a little. All right. So the first thing I do is I click on Dreamweaver site and I create me a new site. So I'm just going to go to advance. I'm going to call this second web. I'm going to point to, oops, see I'm so used to doing it. My websites, second web, select. I usually don't play with this default image folder, though it's probably not a bad idea to actually sit there and select that as well. Then I'm going to go over here and go to FTP. Okay, and I expand and I connect. The next thing I do is then I create a folder. And then I go back to site manage and I edit it. I do this because I want it to be even easier on me. Okay, click done. If I connect again, you should see it. So if I take images, even though it's an empty folder, if I upload it, I can see that it looks exactly right. So that's the steps I do when I first start any new website, is I define the site by setting it up. Now by doing this, this is really just defining it for this computer. If I use Dreamweaver on another computer, I'd have to do these steps all over again. But once you do this, you're up and ready to go on this computer.